So you wanted to find out how to get started with the actual element of the CJ dropshipping and add it directly into WooCommerce. Now I must say that in order to continue, it's gonna be really easy and important to have an actual hosting into WooCommerce in order to get started with. If you don't have an actual hosting that can provide you with the actual WooCommerce, we can totally suggest you to get started with Hostinger. Hostinger is actually really simple, really fast, affordable, and even comes with a three months free with a link that we want to be leaving you down below in the description. So once you have claimed or once you are enabled with the actual WooCommerce in section here, what I wanted to do is to look into our hosting dashboard, which in this case is WordPress, and we are now inside this element. Now what I wanted to do is to create a CJ dropshipping account. So first you needed to account to the CJ dropshipping if you haven't signed it up yet. You can visit the CJ dropshipping here, you have the link once again down below in the description. And of course, complete the registration process by filling in your details and confirming your email address. So it's going to be really, really easy just to have an actual account here into CA Dropshipping. Now, install the WooCommerce inside your website. Here, what you want to do is to make sure that you have the WooCommerce installed into your WordPress site. If you have another hosting provider, then you can just sign and install the WooCommerce directly into your store. Now, if not, we'll go to the WordPress dashboard, navigate into the plugins, get into Add New. And here into the plugins, go for Add New Plugin and choose the WooCommerce. In this case, we already have active the WooCommerce, so we are going to be skipping that spot. If you wanted an actual full tutorial how we can actually make the installation of WooCommerce directly into WordPress, you have the link down below in the description. So guys, now let's install the CA Dropshipping directly here. What I wanted to do is to connect the CA Dropshipping to the WooCommerce store. So we needed to install the CA Dropshipping plugin. So let's go back directly into the dashboard. If you see the plugins and go into Add New Plugin, I'm going to click here and I'm going to type CJ drop shipping now sometimes for a few elements you might be seeing the drop shipping here application and sometimes it doesn't now if it doesn't appear into the plugins for making the installation you don't have to worry about that because all we can do is to make the installation directly inside the CA drop shipping services so usually everybody just look out for the CA drop shipping make sure that this one has this actual buy CA drop shipping and hit into install now now the CA dropshipping should be added directly inside the WordPress. So I'm going to hit now into activate. And as you can see, it says that it is now been active. So what we need to do, of course, is to open CA dropshipping or to reload the page so you can see directly into the web hot. Now what I wanted to do is to hit into connect. Since we already have an actual account directly into CA dropshipping, it's going to be really fast for making the authorization in a very easy way. So as you can see, it says you haven't authorized any store yet into CJ Dropshipping. And we are already inside our actual account inside CJ Dropshipping. So that means that we need to go directly here into Add Store. And here, choose the store type. In this case, would be the WooCommerce. Authorization should be the default. And the site URL should be the one that you have directly in here. Now it's going to be telling us to approve this actual process. So let's go for approved. Make sure that you are logged it in as the store account authorization that you have currently. And now as you can see, you have the authorization being successful. So this is the part where you wanted to sync to all this and the fulfillment. So what you wanted to do, of course, is to once your store is connected, you can start configuring specific settings like a shipping method, importing preferences, using the CA drop shipping dashboard to search your products you want to actually sell. So use the import feature to push this product directly to the WooCommerce store and complete descriptions, images, and variants. Let's try it out with just one product so we so we can see that the product has now been added into our store. So let's assume, for example, that I go for this one. I go for add this directly into list. And this one should be sending me directly into the product of the CA drop shipping. So what we need to do, of course, is to enable and edit the elements of our product. So as you can see here, half the title, the product type, bundle the tax and the collections so usually what we do is to choose this product type you can change the actual title if you wanted to you can change the bundle and now okay let's go for flame store and i hit into add now into tax let's go for lamps collections you can create a new collections if you wanted to and into the store selection make sure that you are using the woo commerce that we have just added there Directly here into the very end price, what we can do is to change the actual price of our product. As you can see, the CA name price appears in here, and the shipping fee is this price, and the service fee, of course. 
So that means that the total cost of this product is $14. If you wanted to earn money or a profit, I can totally suggest you to, let's say for example, assume that you are selling this product into $16. So at the end of the day, you might be earning up to one or $2 per sale. And I hit now into list it now. Now it says, please wait as the process has now been listed. So it might be taking up to one minute, depending on what are the actual edited elements that you have just added, uh, changed it or deleted inside the product that you chose. So finally, you can set up order syncing between the WooCommerce and the CG Prop Shipping. So this can be ensuring that the orders from your WooCommerce store are automatically uh, forwarded to the CG Prop Shipping for fulfillment without manual inputs, making the process seamless. And into my products, you can see that we have now this product that says published, the categories, the price, the stock, the SKU number, and all of it. So as you can see, the product has now been added directly into my store, the light color, the light, so it's power, something really easy to get started with. So as you can see, this is how we can actually make the syncing between the CA drop shipping into your store of the WooCommerce. So with that being said, guys, you have now reached into the very end of the video. Once again, you have the whole stinger deal directly into the description. So if you like this video, you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more e-commerce tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.